I got an interesting project I'm going to work on now. And this one I saw first uh, a few years back from Hiram Cook. I'm sorry, I didn't realize my camera had shut off. So you missed part of the job here. After I took my ruler, oh, these bloody magnets. After I took my ruler and I measured so that I would have just an inch above the edge of this can, I took my snips and I cut away the other half of the can. I punched four notches, four cardinal compass directions, and two holes, one on direct opposite sides of the can. And I've already gone ahead and folded up what's to be my wick. And here's the whole catch. We wrap the paper towel, the wick, around the green bean can and slide it down into the tuna can. And we want this wick to be just below the lip of the tuna can. Or just at the lip of the tuna can. Now, the reason for punching the little notches at the four cardinal points of the compass is so now that when we set this down and pour alcohol in here, the alcohol will go through underneath and soak into the wick. And, well, let me turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use our deep fry pot set on here. Pour your alcohol in, you let it soak for a minute, set your pot right on it, and go ahead and ignite it. Don't need to bloom it first. Matter of fact, this probably works better if you don't bloom the flame first, because it'll bloom all by itself right along the edge of the wick. Now, Anybody familiar with my pal Hiram, Hiram Cook, that's where I learned this technique from. I'll, I'll admit it. I'd never heard of a fancy feast stove before seeing Hiram Cook. I was more familiar with the pop can stoves before that. But here's the deal. I like anything that works. <laughs> Um, Hiram would be the first one to point out this works better with a carbon felt wick. I don't have carbon felt, can't afford to go spending money on it. I do have some paper towel. Paper towel will work. So, one more from the Smithy. Peace out. By the way, don't forget to.